We can also solve this using marginal analysis. Marginal analysis is usually used when you've got a lot of different states and a lot of possibilities. So you've got quite a large matrix, not the simple one that we've got here. And Vic does an example with a larger selection, um, pos larger possibility selection in the topic notes. You can find the proof of um, the formula that we're going to use here on page 228 of the text and in the topic notes. So what we've got is, is we've got a P star. And P star is the minimum probability that an additional unit will be sold to justify adding it to the order quantity. So we should add additional units if the probability of selling the order is equal to or greater than P star. Now, the information we've got in the Yogi Yogurt example is that the, um, that, that the cost of making it the yogurt cases is $40 and the selling price is 100. So the marginal loss, if we don't sell an additional unit, is going to be 40. And the marginal profit, if we do sell an additional unit, is going to be 60. So that P star has got to be greater than or equal to 40 divided by 100, so that P star is going to be greater than or equal to 0.4. So how do we use this 0.4? Well, we have the table here where we've got the demand and the probability of the demand. And we've set up a cumulative probability. Now, this cumulative probability is the probability that the demand will be at least at this level. So the probability that the demand will be at least three is going to be one. The probability that the demand will be at least four is one minus 0.2, which is 0.8. Five, it is 0.8 minus 0.4, which is 0.4. And for six, it's 0.4 minus 0.3, which is 0.1. So we've got our cumulative probability column here. And we've got 0.4 there. So um, that 0.4 means is, is we've got that equal to there. So what? OK, P star is equal to um, the demand of five and we'd want to make five. So we don't go any higher than that. We could go lower, but P star is equal to that cumulative probability of 0.4 there. So we are justified in having a go at making five um, because the probability of selling the order is equal to our P star. So that's how you can use marginal analysis. And if you go back and compare it with the items that we, with the um, calculations that we've done with our expected value, then you can see that this um, is the answer that we've got before.